But I was always curious about um, uh, you know, the physical world, the, the uh, biological phenomena, and uh, in every sense. You know, Arthur Erickson is not just an important Canadian architect, he's a really important Western architect. As a student of architecture, I'd heard at that time rumors of an Arthur Erickson house west of Edmonton. I love the sense that even the art historians locally didn't know it existed. And everybody said it had been demolished, it was there, or they also said I'd never even heard of it. You know, this isn't exactly like Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark, but this is the lost Arthur Erickson house. To them, it was it just was this unfolding origami of, of all these features. And as they pointed it out, the stature of the house started going up, in my opinion. I thought, uh-oh, we have a treasure here. This is a bit like uncovering a gem that somehow got lost. This is a quiet masterpiece. Not a forgotten one, but an undiscovered masterpiece. Arthur Erickson has fans all around the world, and Canadians are sometimes very naughty about this. We don't really appreciate our artists until people from other countries tell us how good they are. When I first started, and my early work was simply residential, it was very complicated. I sort of feel it's like uh, learning the scales for a um, performer. 